Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fire Ant Fishing and today we're going to be talking about the LEDs that I'm going to be using inside my boat, what I'm using to keep them attached, and also the switch panel that I'm using to turn on and off anything electrical inside my boat. Let's go ahead and start with the lights. These are 16 foot waterproof LED flexible light strips. The size of these LEDs are the 2835s. I believe that is the lowest brightness that you can get. They're 6000K daylight white. They have the 3M adhesive backing. They're 12 volts, 24 watts, 300 units inside the strip. I cut each strip to the length that I wanted, trimmed off the waterproofing edges over the copper ends, then I soldered 20 gauge wire to the ends of them, then used three different sizes of heat shrink to heat shrink the ends of these to keep them all together and to waterproof them. On the ends of the strips where I wasn't going to connect any more wire, I just dipped the end in some liquid electrical tape and let it dry and they were good to go. To keep the wires and the LED strips up and in place, I used the Spirit LED light strip mounting bracket. There's a hundred pieces in the bag and also comes with all the hardware that you need for each piece. These are made for the eight millimeter width LED strips which is what I'm using so they fit perfectly on top of the strip. Because my wood is already water sealed with oil based enamel I went ahead and used some marine grade sealant on the back of these little mounts before I screwed the screw inside to the wood. Obviously if I was to do this and not use a sealant, I'm breaking the barrier of the waterproofing in the wood and that's just not what I wanna do. It'd be defeating the purpose of me waterproofing the wood. Then I use these smaller mounts that are supposed to be for the LED strips that are not waterproof. I use these to keep the 20 gauge wire up and in place. Uh, and it ended up working out really good for me. So there's a couple things that I learned while I was doing all this and the first thing is that I suck at soldering. I tried to make a video on it, it came out horrible, so I'm not even going to try to show you guys how I soldered everything because I think I just got really lucky. If you guys are interested in learning how to solder the wires to the LED strips, go check out Bassin NW503's channel. I will leave a link to it in the description below, but he's got a great video on how he solders them together, what to do, what not to do. He also has another video about the different sizes of the LED strips as far as the brightness that they put out. So if you're wanting to know a little bit more about all that and how these LED strips work, go check out his channel. The only other piece of advice that I have is to make sure that your wire is as straight and flat as possible. If you go ahead and solder these together while the wire is all bent up and rounded out, when you go to stick that LED strip up against your boat, and then go to the next one to do it, that wire is gonna twist and turn and pull the light strip off of the wood. So keeping your wires flat and straight is just gonna help keep the light strip stuck up against the boat. I went with the lowest power brightness for these LEDs mainly because I don't fish at night. The lakes that I fish, they close at night and don't open till daylight, so I'm not really gonna be doing any night fishing. I really just wanted them to have some kind of light in there when I get to the boat ramp and it's dark. I'll be able to see everything inside my hatches, know where it's all at and get to it easier with these lights. That's why I didn't feel like I needed a really bright light. I just have just enough where I need them and that should be good enough. So the best way for me to show you guys what's going on here is to look at that strip of lights in there. Basically there's an eight inch strip here, there's an eight inch strip here and a six inch strip up there because that hatch is smaller. They're all connected with the 20 gauge wire and at the end over there that wire goes by itself all the way around to where my panel is. On the other side in these three hatches I did the exact same thing with its own wire going back to the switches as well. I did the exact same thing for this strip. I have uh, a six inch strip there, an eight inch strip there, 
and another six inch strip right there and these are all connected so basically it starts down there it runs over here I have it channeled in around that piece of wood and that's where it comes out connects to these runs back out the other way behind the live well and over to my switch panel there's another set of them back here eight inch strip six inch strip another eight inch strip and of course in the very back we have two eight inch strips with its own wire running to the switch panel So here's my switch panel. It's an eight switch waterproof switch panel. Has a cigarette lighter socket, a cigarette lighter, a double USB port, and a voltmeter. Each switch has its own blue light with it, and the voltage meter also lights up in a blue. The back of it is pretty complex. It has to power the lights for the switches and the voltmeter, and it also has four fuse boxes back there. So for every two switches, there's one fuse box which is perfect because I can have my above deck LEDs and my below deck LEDs on two separate switches, but only using one fuse since they're the same lights and same power. This is where I decided to mount it. The only issue that I ran into was, was that there's originally just a two inch piece of styrofoam here, and that was not deep enough for this panel to sit back in there because you can see it, it's pretty wide. So all I had to do was add a half inch piece of styrofoam on top of all that, I used a hot knife to cut out the area where I wanted my switch panel to lay and then cut out a little area for all my wires to run back to that are going to go back to the bus bar and then back to the battery. So this panel is just going to slide right in. I'll have to figure out a way to kind of mount this down and then my switch panel just fits perfectly inside this cutout that I made. It also comes with the hardware so I have everything to screw in at all six of these points and I really like this thing it's not too big it's not too bulky the switches are really low profile they switch really good they're gonna light up of course and this thing should be just perfect for what I need it also came with some stickers to put over the LEDs on the switches that way I know what switch goes to what and once again all these items are gonna be linked in the description below so make sure to check those out Alright guys, so don't forget to check the description for all the products that I've used here. Also make sure to check out Bassin NW503's channel. He's got some great videos up about all this stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching.